What's a girl supposed to be doing in the summer of her 21st year? Do bees really smell fear? What will I look like as a 50-year-old woman? Mm. Is she thinking about me like I'm thinking about her? Fix her posture. Pretend someone's pulling the top of your head by a string. But how long is the string? And who on earth is pulling me closer? What if my life amounts to nothing? Scratch that. Rip this up when you find it. Tell no one. Don't repeat that ever again. Go touch grass. Grass. The strangest thing happened. I wrote that silly sentence about the bees. And then I went downstairs. And walked around outside. And then got stung by a bee. Can you believe it? I'm not made for such coincidence. I get too excited. A coincidence is like the universe is wink. You know, there's so much I haven't done yet. So much I want to do. I start to feel overwhelmed. Because how will I get from A to B? From here to there? From nothing to something? And if I don't, would I ever be able to live with myself? I would have to be a very different person indeed. I should be at a desk in New York City. Be on a proper, titled rung in the ladder people climb. Sign off emails with best. Click when I walk on pavement. Smile in a real sumptuous way. Because I know what I'm doing. The strangest thing happened. I got stung by a bee, but I didn't cry. Maybe I would if I were like eight, but now I have things to do. And the things I cry about are things I can't touch. Bees. They don't smell fear, but pheromones and hormones. I asked a question when I was 16, and I still don't have an answer. I don't know what I see. Somebody's winking at me. Should I wink back to be polite? These questions won't end, will they? I was born in the summertime, asking nothing at all.